Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Neat. Today's video, I'm taking you guys inside my kitchen cabinets. So my kitchen is about 300 square feet and I have no pantry and no island. So you can only imagine how small it is. And I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys some organization hacks that I actually use. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm just giving you guys a closer look of what my cabinets look like. And then the first hack I have today is to use Lazy Susan. So I use a Lazy Susan for all of my oils and my spices. And I just purchased that from Big Lots. I'll definitely put all of my items that are similar um, from my Amazon store down below if you want to check some of those items out. But this is definitely convenient and easy to sustain because everything goes on one circle and then you're good to go. Another hack is to make sure that you go through all your items and check out the expiration date and if something has inspired go ahead and throw it out my third hack is to purchase seal containers and I just purchased this one from Dollar Tree and I just usually choose my top three food items that I use on a daily or more often than not and I just place them in those seal containers and then I also purchased this container from TJ Maxx and that's a glass container so if you want to get decorative you can definitely purchase those and those are just $2.99 at TJ Maxx. The next hack is to make sure that with all your utensils and your larger utensils that you have a container for each utensil and then also I purchased these oven silicone oven mitts and it replaces all of our cloth oven mitts so we just have one pair and that'll definitely save storage as well when you are organizing your cabinet it's very important to make sure that you're grouping your items together so making sure your aluminum foil plastic wrap and wax papers together all your peanut butters are together all your spices are together so you'll know exactly what you have you're not spending money on items that you already have another hack is to purchase a pan divider and I just use this divider for all of my pans along with my cutting boards and this definitely helps with the vertical space usage within your cabinet so within our cabinet we use this pan divider and then we have all of our small appliances as well so you'll always see a crock pot an air fryer a blender within our cabinet so all of our small appliances stay within our cabinet so it makes our countertop space look a lot bigger than it really is so next we're going to talk about underneath the kitchen sink so I keep this very minimum so the items that are underneath the sink are tools tape anything we need to clean the kitchen and of course dishwashing pods as well so I keep it very minimum our cleaning my cleaning supplies that I've been using lately is this spray that I purchased from home goods and then of course my Mrs. Meyer spray as well so the next hack I want to talk about is that if you are needing some extra storage and you know exactly what you'll use it for, you can definitely purchase an extra shelf or a small cabinet. So we just purchased this cabinet from Walmart and at the top we use for extra dishes and then at the bottom we place all of our drinks in there along with at the bottom Eleni has a basket with all of her extra plates so if she needs a plate or a cup she can go in there and grab it herself. My next tip is to make sure you have containers for everything. So for example, right here, we keep all of her apple pouches. Instead of having them all thrown in the cabinet, we just have them in a container within the cabinet. And then here, I purchased this basket from Big Lots and we just keep all of our spices in it. I don't go for the Pinterest worthy organization spices because I just feel like it's not sustainable for me. So I just place all of our spices within two baskets. And Next is I keep these glass containers that have sealed lids and it's just helpful that I can use these for dinner but I can also use these for leftovers as well as packing my lunch so they're definitely multi-purpose bowls and then I'll just stack them up and I always make sure to use my space as vertical space so I'm making sure that I'm stacking them instead of having them all one level I make sure I stack the items within the cabinet so that way I'm making sure all of the space is being used. Another thing we've been doing is ordering groceries each, each week. This definitely helps with storage and making sure that we're not accumulating food and we know exactly what we're using and what we're eating. So I also want to mention in my Etsy shop, I have created a Christmas grocery shopping printable. So if you are needing to go ahead and get that list ready for Christmas and so you'll know if you have space for it or not, this will be the template for you and I'll place it in the link below. And my last hack for today is just to make sure that you keep your countertop 
clean and clear of most items the only items you should have on there is something that you absolutely need to keep on top of the countertop definitely keep it minimum everything else should be placed in your cabinet so if you follow the different hacks that i talked to you guys about today you'll definitely make more space for your cabinets which will allow you more countertop space so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i would love for you to subscribe to my channel for more organization videos and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye